and gals welcome into the show this morning yeah we have just left Grand Forks here a few minutes ago <coughs> and I got me a phone call there as I was just getting ready to leave so uh, I didn't want to record at that time right so I gotta wait till I get off the phone and then start my day then I guess so here we are back at it again got us about two hours till we will be home and it's eight o'clock right now so it looks like we will be uh, rolling into the yard about 10 o'clock this morning it looks like unless we have some kind of delay at the border but other than that we should be home around 10 o'clock this morning that would be awesome now I'm gonna have to find out and see if they got a reload for me if not then we're gonna tell them we're gonna be available for Saturday morning yeah <clears throat> well, looks like somebody lost something over there huh. almost looks like somebody lost some kind of plastic container there <laughs> but yeah no it's a gorgeous morning again it is a little bit windy out there this morning it felt like it was uh, coming out of the northwest or something like that but hey, we're, all, we're pretty light here today. We're still doing pretty good on fuel mileage, but we did super good last night. It quieter down pretty good there last night, and man, that was nice. My gate just collapsed, kept on climbing and climbing. And man, that was awesome, man. I, I did 7.63 US miles per gallon on this trip to, uh, from Steinbach to Michigan and then I went to Indiana, fueled up over there. I not and uh, it didn't fill up, I loaded up over there. Got my load on and then I went over to South Beloit and fueled up over there. Uh, remember that a few days ago? I don't think I ever told you guys how good we did on fuel, but we did 7.63 US miles per gallon. That was fantastic. I loved it. Uh, I, I could do that every day, man. That, then you would really make money. I mean, I really made money on this trip, that's for sure. I mean, and I'm still doing good on fuel. I mean, I got a light load right now. It's only like 21 or 25,000 pounds or something like that that I got in a box. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, let's get this day behind us and we'll find out, I guess, here in a little bit if we will get a load or not, right? We'll know that here probably by 10.30. We'll know if, we, uh, if it's looking like we're going to get a short trip or not. I told them though, you know, like I don't, you know, I'm not going to be mad at them if they don't have a load, you know, but uh, we'll see. We'll find out and if not, then uh, I'll just be available for Saturday. And hopefully we get us a nice long trip on Saturday then, that would be nice. It would be kind of nice to do a Lincoln, Alabama trip there Saturday or something like that. We'll see. Maybe you get another Massachusetts load, who knows? That would be nice too. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and we'll keep you guys posted on uh, on what's going to go on, going to go down, right? Well, guess what? We are now across the border, Way back station into ahead. Manitoba. Looks like they got one pulled into the back there. And uh, yeah, so we have to get out and cover our headlights again. <laughs> like every time I come across this border this scale is open you know in 300 meters swipe left on Kids that's what Street, it seems like lately but it is crazy windy today let's find out what they want from us today say hi to them and see if they're gonna scream at us today I don't think so I mean I'm pretty light but I did see the DOT kind of go around the building there with the DOT vehicle, so... Yeah, so far it just keeps saying next, thanks also. They're not saying anything today to me. There we go, now we're out of here. Yeah, that sun is probably pretty bright in your eyes, but... Let's get out of here. In 200 meters. Yeah, that wind is just down. crazy and then today. Make a U turn if possible. In 50 meters. I don't know, man. It's really blowing, 
so in a way I kind of hope that I don't get a reload because uh, I don't really want to fight this wind and I don't know what he's doing it looks like he's re-strapping or something that's what it looks like maybe he had some loose straps and the DOT gave him shit for it probably but now I saw the DOT went down that road there they gonna go down there to see if we can capture somebody. Maybe you turn or you lose all maybe. Turn maybe he needs a coffee meters. break. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty nice looking Peter build up there. That pink one there. Pink and white. Meters, slight eye done. I like Lord that. Selkirk Highway. Highway 75. That doesn't look too bad. Way station ahead. Alright RJ, we already were at the way station there, so don't tell me there's another one. Because I know better than that, there ain't no other one out there. <laughs> the next one that we got is there at the corner of 59 and 52. That's the next one that we can expect. I don't usually see that one open though. Continue on this road for 39 kilometers. Alright RJ, you tell them. So welcome back to Canada ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home sweet home. Let's go find out, see what's going to happen. I doubt it if we're going to get a reload anyway, so... But then again, sometimes they surprise us. Alright guys, we're out here at home. And obviously we did not get a load today. But I'm just looking at a whole spiel over here. Look at that. Mr. Barry has even already finished this whole process over here. And he even finished the other side already. It is quite windy out here today, but uh, I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit. Yeah, look at that. He's got that over there. All my uh, drain pipes and everything lined up over there. Man. Yeah, I know it's a little windy out here, but... Oh yeah, look at this. He's even got this whole side over here done. Yeah, he's just about done with this whole process. Now, he is working on the other side there in the front of the house right now but I figured you know what we got a fire going over here and you know usually what that means right yeah did you see that mm. and we are firing up the grill so we're gonna be barbecuing tonight yeah are you guys ready for a good barbecue? Well, I am. Well, guys, what do you think? It's time to check on the meat. What do you say? Isn't it? I think it is. So let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Look at them beautiful, beautiful T-bone steaks. Don't they look fantastic or what? We're gonna have us an awesome dinner, don't you think so? I think so. All right, guys, it is time to check this out, guys. Isn't that looking fantastic or what? Got a potato salad, some water. Oh, yeah. Over there, we even got a pie, it looks like, for some dessert. What do you guys think? Dinner is going to be fantastic, don't you think? Leave a big thumbs up if you agree. Mm-hmm.